Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this video, I'm showing you how to make this Canada truck all ready for Canada Day. This was very much a requested design after I shared the 4th of July truck a couple of weeks ago. I had so many requests for a Canada version 2 that I just had to jump on and make it. So let's find out where to get the free SVG and then how to stick it all together. You can download the free cutting file for this project at craftwithsarah.com forward slash free dash SVGs or follow the link in the description of this video to go straight to the download page. The download comes in a zip folder and you need to unzip this before you can upload the files into Cricut Design Space. Once you've downloaded and unzipped the folder, it's time to get the SVG file into Cricut Design Space. Open up Design Space and start a new project and then get into Upload over on the left and then Upload Image. You can then either click Browse to find the file on your computer or drag and drop it in. Make sure you choose the unzipped version of the folder and then the file to select is the one which starts SVG in the file name. Click and drag that in and it should look like this with all of the pieces one on top of the other. If yours looks different and you see all the little shapes next to each other instead, that means you've accidentally uploaded the wrong file. So if that's the case, click cancel down here on the bottom, try again and make sure you choose the one which starts SVG. This is looking good, so I will upload it and then it will appear in my recent uploads. So I click it. And can you tell what we've been working on recently? <laughs> I bet you're going to love them, but uh, unfortunately you'll have to wait a couple more months before they come out. Anyway, I've clicked on my Canada, Canada Day truck to get that green border. And now we'll go to add to canvas. And here it is. It splits all the layers out down the right hand side. Now, as far as my layered trucks go, this one is pretty simple in terms of its colors. There's not an awful lot on there. Um, so there's not a lot we need to do in design space really, other than resize it. To resize the design, click on it. Make sure this padlock icon at the top is closed. If it's open, then click on it to close it and you may have to click it twice. I am going to make mine 9.5 inches. And because that padlock's shut, it means when I hit enter on my keyboard, the height changes in proportion. And that's all I'm going to do, nice and simple. So I'll press make it and this will separate everything out into the individual colours. You can change the paper size in the drop downs down here. And then you can click and drag to move things about to take up less space on your cardstock. This has moved these two bits onto a different sheet. I reckon I can fit them on the first one. To move things to a different mat, click the three little dots and then move object. Make sure you choose the same colour and then press confirm. And then you need to just move everything about so that nothing is overlapping. Because if any of the shapes overlap, it means they won't cut out properly. I am hopeful that this is going to work. <laughs> Will that go there? Not quite. All right, there's one more piece. Let's see if I can get this on too. Uh, where is it? Oh, perfect. Look at that. That's going to fit beautifully on one sheet. So design space thought I needed two, but nope, I only need one. And don't worry that you've now got an empty sheet here. It will disappear when you click continue to go on to the next step. You'll need to change the paper size and move things around for every color individually. So go ahead and do that. And when you're happy with how everything is looking, Press continue to connect to your Cricut, get everything cut out from cardstock, and then I'll show you how to stick it all together. Here are all the layers of my Canada Day truck cut out and I've led them on top of each other to check that I'm happy with how it's all looking and that I haven't missed any of the little pieces. As with all my designs, we'll start at the bottom and then work our way upwards and stick it together with a combination of glue and foam squares. The glue I'm using is called Kalau <laughs> and colours match nicely. I really like this glue because it doesn't bend or wrinkle the cardstock like some glues can do and I put it into these needle tip applicator bottles. And then to add some dimension I'll be using some foam squares. These ones are good because they're quite small but if yours are larger you can cut them smaller with a pair of scissors. So let's move all these pieces apart and I'm going to try and keep it all sort of vaguely grouped in the correct places. 
Oh. Uh, where's the back? <laughs> there we go. And then those two. And then we're left with these, which are our very bottom two pieces. I'm going to start by using my foam squares on the black piece. So I've turned it upside down and I'm going to add my foam. You want to make sure you put your foam in all of the sticky out bits, like the flag and that big firework. And as well as putting bits around the edge, also put some in the middle because if there's nothing in the middle, there's nothing to keep the middle bit of the cardstock flat. So you'll find it will kind of um, arch downwards like that and you won't get as good a 3D effect. It's always better to add a few too many than not enough. Now they're all in position, I can peel the tops off to reveal the stickiness underneath. Now all of these are removed, let's bring in the bottom layer and then I'll line this up using the front and also the top of the flag and that big firework. It doesn't go right the way to the front because of the um, bumper on the front and I messed that up so <laughs> let's try again and I'll use the flag and the firework. It's a little bit tricky this one because that flag is sort of hanging all by itself. I'm just gently dropping this down until I'm happy with how it's looking and then I'll push down to seal. <laughs> there we go. Okay next we've got this white piece which will be another foam square layer. Okay, let's stick this one on. And again, let's use that big old flag. It's not quite straight. There. Excellent. Okay, next is this red layer, and this is a glue layer. Try and get your glue around all the intricate bits that will lead to a much better, more secure stick. Oh, nearly dropped it. <laughs> that wouldn't have been very clever. At least with glue, you can wiggle it about if it's not quite in the right position. There we go, there's all of that. And then I'll glue in my little maple leaf on there and the bigger one on the door. Next for the flag, there's the middle bit there, which again is a glue layer. Next we've got this piece to make up the back and I think because this um, firework is going to sit in front I'm going to use my foam squares for here and hopefully they'll fit just about, oh that was lucky, they just about go in that flag pole. If they hadn't have fitted I could have just cut them smaller but then they get a little bit fiddly to peel the tops off. I'm glad that worked. That's on there. And then this one glued on top. Like that. And then I've got this piece. Normally I add this in a, and it's a different colour so it sort of makes the back of the track but because it's the same red I actually don't think I need this bit so I'm going to take this out of the design so that you won't get it. It's a little bit irrelevant. 
Uh, and that is why I make everything before you get it, just in case there's little tweaks like that. All right, so now I've got the front and back um, bumpers. And for the one on this side, I'm going to glue it. And then the one on the front are foam so that they'll end up sitting level. I just really like it when these bits look level on the front and back of the truck. I think it looks a little bit more realistic. So the back ones will be glued. There's one. Didn't do that very well though. <laughs> and then two like that. And then the front one, I'll add my foam squares to the white bit and then glue the red on top. There. Lovely. Okay, the um, little firework going off. There's a white bit and a yellow bit. The white bit will be glued. That's just making the fuse going into that rocket. And then I think I'll foam the yellow bit, but I'm going to cheat a bit, add the foam straight onto the design. It's much easier to do it this way around when you've got teeny tiny pieces. Although not when you smudge the glue like I just did there. I probably should have waited for that to dry a bit better. Never mind. It hasn't actually put any glue anywhere it's not supposed to be. So that's okay. Now I've just got to try and line this up. <laughs> oh dear. That no? That way no. I might even not have this the right way up. This might take me a while. There we go. I think. Yes, <laughs> that looks right. Whew. All right, finally the middle of the wheels. Just a little bit of foam square on each of them. And then add the white circles. There we go. And number two. And I think I'll foam the little leaves in the middle of those two. You could glue them. It doesn't really matter. One. And two. And there we go. That is my Canada themed truck. All finished. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make this layered truck design for Canada Day. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more Cricut crafts, including a whole ton more layered truck designs. Thank you for watching. Bye.